All right, welcome to my quick demonstration on how to set up a Bluetooth 2.0 to Ant Plus transceiver. So a lot of people uh, have smartphones. Uh, this is an Android-based device. Many people have iPhones, and there's there's some Ant Plus solutions for the iPhone. Um, for at least iPhones up to uh, the 4S, and possibly the 5S with with uh, an ad an adapter. However, I'm going to show you a very simple and easy method of converting Bluetooth 2.0 to Ant Plus. So Ant Plus has several different transceivers, and most commonly I use one now is what's called the NRF24 AP2. I constantly refer to it as the AP2. Very common, supports eight channels, three different networks, none, none of the stuff that really matters to the end user. However, the modules, this uh, AP2, can be set up in three ways. Two types of serial peripheral interface and a general generic asynchronous serial. So just with your, your basic RX and TX, so transmit and receive. Bluetooth has a protocol called the SPP, or the Serial, uh, serial Port Protocol, or Serial pro Port Profile. So there's modules out there that emulate uh, this, uh, this Serial Port Protocol. So you get wireless off here, and it's emulating RX and a TX. Quite simple. Uh, one of the things that I figured is is that it should be theoretically very easy to connect these two. You could just literally draw a line between these two guys, and of course, you'd have uh, some sort of plus VCC, a ground. So pretty basic. And surprisingly, it works very well. So what you'd end up do, doing is your cell phone connects wirelessly to the Bluetooth device. Uh, in this case, it's a cheap Chinese HC-06. That's physically wired to an AP1 or AP2. And then what we have is it's transmitting wirelessly to a uh, power meter, speed sensor, cadence sensor, um, HRM. So it can connect to a variety of, of different sensors on this end. All right. So what you can see here is this is an Ar Arduino, the new Leonardo. Uh, this is a SparkFun AP1 module uh, wireless transceiver. This is the AP2. You can do the exact same with this. I've, I've got it broken out. If you check the blog, it show, shows pictures of this. And this guy here is, that's uh, the HC06 module. So I'm using the regulators um, from my Arduino board to power this. This has an onboard 3.3 volt regulator uh, and SparkFun AP1 and the AP2 type modules require 3.3 volts. The first thing you need to do is uh, this HC6 tends to remember what mode it's set to even when it's unpowered, but I'm going to just show. Uh, I'm going to disconnect the AP1 and from the RX and TX connect Leonardo. So you'll notice that it's flashing. That flashing kind of means it's in a uh, a non-communicative mode through, through the Bluetooth wireless device side of things. And send an AT command, and it'll tell me OK. So then what you want to do is say AT plus baud 3, and it'll tell me OK 4800. So now it should remember that it's set up to uh, bot of 4800. That's what this is hardwired to. But you could set it to different values. 9600 is common, 19,200. Uh, 19, so we can close out of our serial monitor there. And I could do the next step on my computer. 
But what I'm going to want to do is actually show it to you on my cell phone here. So I'm going to unpower this, disconnect the Arduino. As you can see, it's just power and ground here now. And connect my RX. TX to RX, RX to TX, and we should be good to go. So let's power them back up by reconnecting my Arduino. The light's flashing, we've got power to our EP, uh, our, sorry, our HC06 module. One of the apps I have here is a Bluetooth SPP protocol. I'm going to connect real-time mode, and this light will go steady. Connect it. So now, now we're connected. This is going to take a little while, so I'm going to start sending strings. So the first string I'm going to send is going to be the network command. So uh, it's going to be hard to see, uh, but you need to set the IO mode to hex because these are all hex values. So the first thing we need to do is send these strings. And I hit send. Now, what I'm getting back here, it's saying A4, it's message sync, 3 for 3 bytes. It's responding to message 40, which is set network. Oh, sorry, that's a response. Uh, 40 is the, the, that I'm getting a response command. 00 is the channel. 46 is the message I'm responding to. I'm getting a 00, zero meaning A OK, and A1 is my CRC. So I need to send the sign channel now and I'm going to be relatively silent. I'm going to fast forward most of this. So I just sent the last command and now you're seeing a string. So now I've set this to pretend it's a power meter with ant plus and it's just sending the default string of characters. So switching over to the computer, set it to set the simulator type to by power display, set it to receiving, and we're starting to see data. So to show you that it's changing. I've got a string, I'm just going to set a bunch of values and so what I'm sending is on all the data channels it's just going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, A, B and then it's going to be the checksum. And as you can see on screen, that's not what we have. We're getting 0, 0, 0, 0, D5, 3C, AF, B7, 1D, 8E, uh, 0, 9, 0, A, 0B, and the checksum, which I've manually calculated with cal calcul uh, calculator in Windows. So you can kind of see that sent. And now you've seen them change on my screen. So, um, if I change that to C, and now change on screen. So that's it. Very simple to set up. They're hardwired together. No microcontroller needed except for the power supply. It works. Very simple. Very easy to do and should be able to implement AMP Plus via Bluetooth SPP protocol. So now disconnect it and we're flashing again.